Welcome to day 36 of our 40 days of faith explosion. Today we are talking on the topic, faith is taking responsibility of your destiny. Faith is taking responsibility of your destiny. Now, Peter was not the only disciple um, that was in the boat the night that Jesus walked on the water to them. As a matter of fact, the disciples, there were complete 12 of them in the boat, but only Peter took the initiative of faith to say to Jesus, Master, if it is you, tell me to come. And he became the first and only one of them to walk on the water because faith is taking responsibility of your destiny. Now, faith is not cheap talk. Faith is real work. You must understand that for you to really become a man or a woman of faith, you must be ready to work at your faith, to be able to meet the demands of faith and get your faith to work. Faith is taking responsibility. Unfortunately, most believers today don't want to take responsibility of their destiny in faith. They want to depend on their pastor's faith, depend on their spouse's faith, depend on someone's faith, you know. And, and this is the reason why there is uh, pilgrimage, religious pilgrimage everywhere, all over the world in Christianity. Now, that is not wrong because even in Jesus' ministry, it was entertained. But that is not the ultimate of God. The ultimate of God is that the just shall live by his faith. You must develop your faith to an extent that you can be able to stand on your own because a day will come that you will need to use that faith that nobody will be available for you to run to or ask to stand for you then you need to stand on your own for example um you might have a story of a woman who in the middle of the night uh, the devil struck her son and then she said to her husband pastor line is not going through but we're going to stand and practice what you have been learning in the church and she said to the devil satan you can't take this boy from me i will rebuke you in the name of jesus and the, the spirit left the boy and the boy became old because she took responsibility of her faith i can say this to you that there are many miracles that you have missed because you did not take responsibility of your destiny in the place of faith you must develop your faith you must develop your faith as a matter of fact even jesus when he was on earth he did not allow his disciples to use his faith he always told them have your own faith here is your faith have your own faith i mean if jesus did not permit them to use his own faith I mean, there's not that person that you can use to power your destiny. You can't drive your car with another man's headlight. What if the man diverts? You now begin to drive in darkness. So you must develop your own faith by eating the word of God, um, listening to the word of God, studying the word of God, build your faith. Because there are days that temptations are going to come that there will be nobody to run to, but you need to stand in your own faith. So faith is taking responsibility. It's just for you to make up your mind and say, now I'm going to grow spiritually. I'm going to grow my faith. I'm going to take responsibility of my destiny. And then the enabling power will come from God to be able to help you to do it. But it is responsibility. Once again, faith is not cheap talk. Faith is real work. I mean, hard work. You must be ready to fight, stand in faith until you see the result work in your life. Otherwise, you are going to end up becoming a victim of, you know, the, these things we see around here and here, or people taking advantage of people just because they don't have personal faith to stand for themselves. God will hear you if you call upon him. You see, this is the reason why Jesus, whenever he saw that, he criticized it, he condemned it. Whenever he saw faith, he commended it because you, you need to get this right. You must have your own faith and you must take responsibility okay opportunities are around you for you to take responsibility for your faith you must take responsibility for it and i trust god that as you do that your life will never remain the same again question for you now what is that area of your life at the moment that you need to take responsibility of your destiny you have been crying and blaming everybody stop blaming everyone now now take responsibility and say father it is now between me and you i am asking the name of jesus that you show up for me that you help me that you intervene and then i can tell you you will see the glory of god in your life now make this declaration after me say father in the name of jesus i decide today to take responsibility of my destiny in faith help me oh god to see this all in jesus name amen and amen all right i hope you are blessed it's getting hotter and we're almost getting to the end of it please if you joined us halfway go to the beginning of the one and eat them and eat them and eat them until your faith will have a real explosion and your testimony will be undeniable in jesus name amen god bless you shalom